somebody mailed me and asked me to explain more about this include preprocessor statement so i've almost explained uh, many things in my previous video but i'll go ahead and cover the rest of it so usually you see these include directives at the very top of your source code it's called a preprocessor all preprocessor starts with a hash symbol as you can see here these are there are other preprocessor statements in c we will discuss it as and when we use it because it gets too complicated right now well this include directive causes one file that is this in this case the stdio.h file to be included in another file we can write it in two ways as you can see on the screen right now so we can write it in these two ways and remember semicolon isn't allowed here that's not a syntax so don't write semicolon at the end so these are the two ways we can write it this way the entire code present in this file that is std dot stdio.h file gets included in this source file that is this source file why do we need to do this it has advantages of course imagine we have a car model simulation program we separate wheels related code color related code and display related code and make three different files and then include it in the main car program source code this way we can access any function present in wheels colors and display file in our main c main car program source code this way our main source code main car program source code doesn't look clumsy and we need not know the implementation details behind some of the functions present in wheels color and display files so let's take standard library function as an example somebody has written all the elaborate logic to display content to console using printf function this logic is present in library file stdio.h we include this file in most of our programs and simply make use of printf method without the need of understanding the implementation details of printf function so dot h extension means it's a header file so as i told you we can write it in these two ways the difference is if i write like this it means it's a standard library function that is in this case uh this command looks for this uh, my, my lib.h file in the current working directory in this case it looks in standard library folder so this is the difference so we will be writing our own uh the uh, header files uh in the coming videos for now it, it would be very complicated when we write our own source code uh which is a header file we make sure it is included in double quotes so this is it for now we have so many preprocessor statements we'll be discussing it later on uh, maybe once we know all the looping and arithmetic operations and all we will do some some programs uh, using all the things we have learned so far so after that we will come back to this preprocessors there are many preprocessor statements which are very useful in writing big programs so for now this is it for uh, this is it you need to know for now about include directive please share this video with your friends on social media site uh, notes to this video is present in the description section of this youtube video don't forget to uh, subscribe to our blog and youtube channel and do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you